I'm up. I'm up. Was I talking in my sleep? Probably was. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. We're reviewing beer today. <clears throat> today we are going to be reviewing a beer from Watshu. Um, excuse me, I'm totally seeing double right now. Watshu. Whatever, it's a beer from Massachusetts. Uh, it's right there if you want to try to pronounce it. Anyway, uh, it's their version of an Oktoberfest, uh, which is a German Marzen, which is a beer made in the month of March. I don't know, whatever, Close is, uh, Stomp's going to go over that with you in a second. Uh, however, this beer says it's an American Marzen. I don't know how that makes sense. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. However, I am just, I am going to turn it over to Stomps and he's going to tell you about the finer points of this beer so I can get to drinking it that much quicker. Chew sets, if I'm pronouncing that even correctly, Oktoberfest Ale. Now, Typically, an Oktoberfest is a Marzen lager, which is a beer made in March with certain kind of spices involved that would hint for the Oktoberfest coming up. It's aged throughout the entire time and drinking during Oktoberfest. I'm not going to get into the details because all of you are going to ream me for getting anything wrong, so I'm just not even going to do this because the extent of my research involves getting drunk and going on the internet. But suffice it to say, the things I read on the internet say it's an American ale and a red ale which is not what an Oktoberfest is or what I think it should be. This beer's got about 5.2 alcohol by volume, and from what they say on the internet, it's a pretty smooth drink. And the brewery, Wachusett, is done in Massachusetts. I've actually never had any of their beer, but uh, I'd like to see their take on our Oktoberfest. So, on to the poor and first impressions. And now comes my favorite part of the review, the pour and first impressions. Brad, don your glass. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm not noticing a whole lot of head. I honestly, it's so small I can't even consider there's any, but it's got a nice copper color to it. And Brad has his beer stein, which is typical of Oktoberfest. Ah. Yeah. I'm not getting a whole lot of scent. I'm not congested or anything, so there should be a little bit more scent to this. I'm kind of, that's kind of upsetting. Yeah, I'm not really, yeah, it's kind of disappointing already. Ah, uh, well, here comes the sip. Land. Very. It's kind of skunky, not gonna lie. This just came in the other day. There should not be a reason for this. This is highly upsetting. Yeah. Uh, no scent, no. Fl I don't even know what to say. This is. Uh, it's very disappointing. Yeah, I, this. I was expecting a lot more for an Oktoberfest. Yeah. Same here. Oktoberfest is really where breweries should learn their idea to shine and really show their true colors, and this is disappointing. It's boasting a $9.39 price tag, which in Connecticut is a lot of money for a beer. And this, I, thumbs down on me. This should have been like maybe a dollar bottle at best. Uh, for me, um, I'd give it, uh, if I were to rate it at, you know, uh, from one to five, I'd probably give it like a two and a half. Something I wouldn't get every week or every month for that matter, but, you know, something I wouldn't rule out for, like, parties. You're being generous, in all honesty, with all the great... It, 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 exactly, I am being very generous here, but uh, it, it is very bland. With all the great Oktoberfests that are out there, this, uh, I don't even know why it would be on the shelf. Um, watch you said, I hope your other beers are better than this, but this is a huge disappointment. I'm sorry. Just what you said. Oh, whatever it's called, it's... You know what, if their other beers are just as bad, they're never getting another review. So, watch you, why, why don't you just close your brewery? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Alright, well, 
Thank you very much for uh, watching this week's episode of the Drunken Grail. I'm Irish. And I'm Stops. And before we go... The Chug the Test. The Chug Test. Alright. This is actually the first time I'm okay with the Chug Test because it's such a weak beer and it's not expensive. Yeah. So, cheers. Slasha. Frankenstein, yeah! Oh, man. Oh. oh, man. Thank you, YouTubers, for watching this week's episode of The Drunken Grail. Oh, there are better Oktoberfests. Go buy them. This is not one of them. <laughs> I will see you next week, hopefully, with a better beer. So, to good friends and good brew. Salacha, bitches.